Hey guys, it's Carter. I hope you guys are all having a great and an amazing day today. Now in today's video, we are going ahead and looking at my entire investment portfolio. We're going to be looking at all my stocks and pretty much every investment that I've made. So I hope you guys all enjoy the video. If you guys get anything in value out of this, hit that like button, subscribe. If you have any questions, let me know down in the comments. So guys, to jump into it. Roll the intro. Come on. Now the reason I wanted to make this video is because I kind of want to show you guys all the investments and progress that I've made, not to show off or anything like that, hopefully to kind of inspire some of you guys to start that process of investing. I have several different account types and we're going to be breaking down every single one. So let's start off with my very first account. Now the first one here, I'm sure you guys actually know of. This is a challenge that I'm doing. This is with my Acorns account that I've been investing $10 a week to prove to you guys you don't need to overcomplicate things. Now the grand total for this account is only $111 and I'm up about 1%. This is with the aggressive portfolio that I have. The beauty about Acorns is you don't have to actively manage it, watch it. You kind of can just invest and forget, which is a great type of investment. Now the issue that I see and face with Acorns Acorns is they do charge a monthly fee ranging from three to five dollars for this account. Personally, I think it's a little expensive anytime you have to pay to invest, but I wanted to show you guys that you can still make money off of this. Not to say that Acorns is terrible, I just think that there's better opportunity elsewhere, but we'll talk about more about that later. Now the second investment that I have is in Fundrise. Now Fundrise is a real estate investing app that allows you to invest in real estate for less than $10, which is which is crazy, right? A lot of people think you need hundreds, hundreds of thousands of dollars to invest in real estate. That's not the case. I'm doing another challenge. I'm sure you guys know that I'm investing $10 a month over the past couple of actually about a year now um, into Fundrise the account is sits a hair over $900 which is awesome right this account has grown a lot the beauty of Fundrise is you don't make a ton of money off appreciation I'm only up about maybe one to two percent where you make most of your money is on dividends which is pretty much when these tenants pay their lease and their rent because you own real estate, you guys get a little bit of that money, which is awesome. Not to mention, you can see where all of your money is. They show you different real estate investments that they've made with your money. So it's pretty cool to see. And if you guys wanna sign up with Acorns or Fundrise, I'll put a link down below so you guys can at least check it out. Now the third account, the last one that you guys probably know of, this one here is with Moomoo. For those of you that don't know, I've been swing trading $100 to see how much money I can make. I've been doing this for about two months and my account sits a hair over 320 bucks. Now, I pretty much times three this account, which is awesome, just doing different types of swing trades. The beauty of Moomoo is it's more of an advanced uh, charting system. You can find stocks, scanners, all that good stuff. It may be a little overcomplicated for beginners, but if you're looking to start trading or swing trading, day trading, I would highly recommend Moomoo because they have something called paper trading, which pretty much allows you to trade without using your hard earned cash. So you can practice and develop that strategy that works well for you and then you can start implementing it into hard earned cash and start making, making that money. <laughs> now this is where things get very complicated. This is with M1 Finance. I have about four or five accounts with them and for a variety of reasons, but we'll start off with my very first one. This is the first account that I had with M1 Finance. Now this one is just a standard broker's account. I have about $2,000 into this and my top three holdings are the S&P 500, VIG, and NVIDIA, also QQQ coming in at number four. The reason I invest so much into a lot of ETFs that you guys will notice is because it's very, very hard to pick and choose different stocks and all that good stuff. But if you're diversified with the ETFs, you'll notice that the S&P 500 has beautiful growth. It's been around for over 90 years and you don't have to, have to actively manage it or watch it. You can kind of invest and forget. I do still invest, as you guys can see, into other single investments, single stocks, but I keep it under 5% of my portfolio size to reduce risk, reduce volatility, and I always can buy more if I see an opportunity. That's kind of my mindset with this account. It's great growth, long term, trying to build up some dividends with this one. It's a pretty sweet and fun account. Now the second account with M1 Finance is something called a Roth IRA. This one here is just a retirement account that allows you to retire tax-free when, you, when you're ready for retire at about, I think it's like 50 or 65. I'll put it right here so you guys can see. 
but there is a lot of you know stipulations with account with this account you only can invest about six thousand dollars into it per year but the beauty of it is when you retire it's 100 percent tax free so you can withdraw it spend it invest it do whatever you guys want to do with this one i only invest into etfs because like i mentioned earlier it's very very hard to pick and choose different stocks so my number one pick SPY coming in at number two, VU, and then three is ticker symbol VTI, which is Vanguard's total uh, stock market index. Now the reason I invest into a lot of ETFs, I cannot stress it enough, is because if you even go back 10 years, right, and you want to invest into the number one stock, you know what that company is? That company is Walmart and BP, which are still great companies, but they would have not nearly if you've only invested into those you would have missed out on massive growth opportunities if you just invested in the s p 500. now my next account here is another standard brokers account this one here is 100 a growth account so i have a high risk high reward account for my fund investments i have nvidia adobe amd as my top three holdings i'm up about 18 percent with this account but i still see a lot of value out of this one i invest purely in growth stocks that are high risk, high reward. And it's not something that I actively manage, watch, I invest and forget in companies that carry some sort of long-term potential. I have about $3,000 in this account, um, but the reason why it's so much is because it's grown a lot, right? I have companies like Tesla, Google in here as well, but there's still massive opportunity for a lot of these companies to grow. Now, my last and final investment account is a joint account I have with my wife. We both invest about 10 to $20 a week. I pretty much let her pick and choose the different stocks, so it helps her out, helps me out because I get to make content from it. But overall, guys, I have uh, Adobe, which she's a photographer and she uses their software. Uh, NVIDIA, which he uses uh, NVIDIA for photo editing, I'm not sure. And then the last one is Google, who doesn't invest in Google. Now, all of these accounts, guys, I have, as you guys can see, well over $10,000 invested, but my mindset with it is 100% long-term other than the Moomoo account that's more swing trades, uh, but it's only 300 bucks. But all of these long-term invest and forget is the best type of investment. I cannot stress it enough. I always use my dividends and reinvest them back into the companies to get more dividends and start that process of compound interest and building up that passive income stream. So guys, that is a breakdown of every investment I have in the stock market. So I hope you guys enjoyed it. I obviously, I may have more with like TD Ameritrade and all those. I just don't really go on there anymore. Uh, but I hope you guys enjoyed it. We'll see you guys later. Remember to stay happy, stay positive, and I hope you guys have a great rest of your day. Take care.